Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will sketch the graph of linear equation given any two points, given x and y intercepts, and given the slope and a point. First, let us recall Cartesian coordinate plane. In Cartesian plane, there are two axes. The horizontal line is the x-axis and the vertical line is the y-axis. The point of intersection is called origin that has coordinates 0, 0. From the origin, moving to the right is positive, moving to the left is negative, moving upward is positive, and moving downward is negative. Cartesian plane is divided into four quadrants. This is the first quadrant or quadrant 1. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. And this is the fourth quadrant. Let us plot points in this Cartesian plane. Number 1, let us plot 4, 1. In this point, 4 is the x-coordinate, 1 is the y-coordinate. To plot this point, from the origin, we will move 4 units to the right and we will move 1 unit upward. And this is 4, 1. Next number, we have 5, negative 3. From the origin, we will move 5 units to the right and 3 units downward. And this is 5, negative 3. Next point, we have negative 2, 4. From the origin, we will move 2 units to the left and we will move 4 units upward. And this is negative 2, 4. Last point, negative 4, negative 5. From the origin, we will move 4 units to the left and 5 units downward. And this is negative 4, negative 5, which is located in the third quadrant. Let us have some examples in graphing linear equations. Example number 1, let us graph 4x plus y equals 1 using any two points. Let us construct table of values. We will set value of x and we will solve for y. If x is equal to negative 1, let us solve for y. Let us substitute negative 1 to x in 4x plus y equals 1. After substitution, we have 4 times negative 1 plus y equals 1. Since 4 times negative 1 is equal to negative 4, then we have negative 4 plus y equals 1. Let us isolate y on the left side by transposing negative 4 on the other side. We have y equals 1 plus 4. Since 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, the value of y is equal to 5. And we have 1 point, negative 1, positive 5. Next, if the value of x is equal to 0, let us solve for y. 4x plus y equals 1 becomes 4 times 0 plus y equals 1. Since 4 times 0 is equal to 0, then we have 0 plus y equals 1. And the value of y is equal to 1. And we have another point, 0, 1. Next, if the value of x is equal to 1, let us solve for y. 4x plus y equals 1 becomes 4 times 1 plus y equals 1. 4 times 1 is equal to 4, then we have 4 plus y equals 1. Transposing 4 to the other side, the value of y is equal to 1 minus 4, which is equal to negative 3. And we have another point, 1, negative 3. 
Using any two points, let us graph 4x plus y equals 1. Let us consider negative 1, 5. From the origin, we will move 1 unit to the left and 5 units upward. And this is negative 1, 5. Another point that we can use is 0, 1 or 1, negative 3. Let us use 1 and negative 3. From the origin, we will move 1 unit to the right and 3 units downward. And this is 1, negative 3. And then, after plotting the two points, let us draw a line passing these two points. And this is the graph of 4x plus y equals 1. Example number 2, let us graph 2x plus 3y equals negative 6 using x and y intercepts. To solve for x intercept, set y equal to 0. If y is equal to 0, 2x plus 3y equals negative 6 becomes 2x plus 3 times 0 equals negative 6. And since 3 times 0 is equal to 0, then we have 2x plus 0 equals negative 6. 2x plus 0 is equal to 2x and we have 2x equals negative 6. Dividing both sides by positive 2, the value of x is equal to negative 3. And this is the x intercept. To solve for y intercept, set x equals 0. 2x plus 3y equals negative 6 becomes 2 times 0 plus 3y equals negative 6. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. Then we have 0 plus 3y equals negative 6. 3y is equal to negative 6. Dividing both sides by 3, y is equal to negative 2. And this is y-intercept. After solving for the x-intercept and y-intercept, let us sketch the graph of 2x plus 3y equals negative 6. Let us locate negative 3 on the x-axis and negative 2 on the y-axis. If we draw a line passing these two points, this is the graph of 2x plus 3y equals negative 6. Example number 3, let us graph linear equation if its slope is 2 over 5 and passing through the point negative 4, 1. In this example, we will graph linear equation given the slope and a point. Let us plot negative 4, 1 in Cartesian plane. From the origin, we will move 4 units to the left and 1 unit upward. Since slope is equal to rise over run, where rise is the change in y and run is the change in x, from negative 4, 1, we will move 2 units upward and we will move 5 units to the right. And this is the other point. Drawing a line passing these two points, this is the graph of linear equation if the slope is 2 over 5 and passing through the point negative 4, 1. Example number 4. Let us graph linear equation if the slope is equal to 6 and passing through the point negative 2, negative 3. Let us plot negative 2, negative 3. From the origin, we will move 2 units to the left and 3 units downward. And this is negative 2, negative 3. Since the slope is equal to 6, which is equal to 6 over 1, we will move 6 units upward and 1 unit to the right. And this is the other point. Let us draw a line passing these two points. And this is the graph of linear equation with the slope of 6 and passing through the point negative 2, negative 3. 
And that is how to graph linear equation given any two points, given the x and y intercepts, and given the slope and a point. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.